Today we're going to learn about a statistical test for lazy people called the sign test. And we want to answer the question, is the average value greater than zero? So we have some data, and we might say, I'm lazy and I don't want to do statistics. All of these data are obviously more than zero. So isn't the average more than zero? And a positive spin on your laziness is you did a statistical test in your head called a sign test. So let's learn about it. So the question is, can we do something similar to a z-test or a t-test with no assumptions? Z-test and T-test require that our data be normally distributed, or that we have a large sample size where the central limit theorem applies. And if this is not true, the results of the test are not accurate. So the key idea behind a sign test is that for any distribution, half the data is above the median and half the data is below the median. We call this type of test non-parametric. And we call it non-parametric because we are not assuming a particular distribution defined by parameters, right? non parametric. And so this works for any type of data. Okay, so because half the data is above the median and half of the data is below the median, uh, whether the data is above or below the median is essentially a coin flip for any distribution. Okay, so let's do a sign test. Our null hypothesis, the thing we're going to start off assuming, uh, is that the median is zero. Now, here we're using zero because we're wondering if the average is more than zero, but this could really be any value. And the alternative hypothesis here is going to be that the median is more than zero, right? We're asking, is the average above zero? So we have our data. And if the median is zero, then half the population should be above zero and half the population should be below zero, right? With eight data points, we would expect about four to be above zero and four to be below zero. So if the null hypothesis is true that the median is zero, what is the probability that eight data points are all above zero? Well, this is really just the same question as what's the probability of flipping eight heads in eight coin flips, right? Flipping eight coins and getting eight heads. And the probability of that is one half to the eighth power or 0 0.0039. And this value here is called a p-value, right? And this tells us our results are very, very weird, right? If the median was zero, then the probability that all of our values would be above zero is very, very small. And this tells us that our starting assumption that the median is zero is probably false and that we should reject it and conclude the alternative that the median is above zero. So to recap, non-parametric tests like the sign test are statistical tests that don't rely heavily on assumptions that the data follows a certain distribution. The sign test tells us that for any distribution, half of the points lie above the median and half lie below the median. And thus we can perform a statistical test that the median is equal to a certain value by simply examining if the proportion of values above or below the median is far away from one half. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to learn more statistics.